Alright, so this isn't like February or January of this year where I was legitimately out of ideas. I really do have a lot of, I still have a lot of shit to say. That part of my creativity and inspiration hasn't disappeared the second it came back. What happened is I'm losing a lot of memory on my Macintosh, so I need some means of preserving it and also a means of the problem is that I'm losing memory. The problem is that I'm losing space. So these videos, I can't upload them to YouTube without deleting a bunch of other videos unless I want to lower the quality. Now keep in mind, the quality to my YouTube videos isn't necessarily that high. It's not like I upload H video, HD videos. Because I don't really care about HD. When people get HD cameras, I don't really watch them because... They either make my computer buffer a little bit, or I just don't want to see your face in HD. You're not that cute, god damn it. And that just brings up another problem, which is the fact that, really, it's not an efficient way of solving a problem, because while there are a lot of take ones, take twos, take threes to my videos that I haven't gotten rid of and I should get rid of. What's the point? Shouldn't it be more strategical to find a portable hard drive or some other means of recording these videos without costing costing myself uh, precious memories of my old face or a lot of these reject videos end up becoming newer videos in the future or newer ideas. For example, the video I made where I was playing Final Fantasy 7 on my PlayStation 3, and that was related to elites and things like that. That video came from another idea I made uh, back in January of 2011, so. That was basically two years, and I got that from that. But moving into a new subject, and this is Moldbug. I rarely talk about the intertribal conflictions of the liberal tribe and the conservative tribe. And part of the reason is that I just realized I rarely speak to members of the conservative tribe and the closest I ever get to seeing people like that is on true TV where I see a lot of guys who I could identify as members of the conservative tribe these lard asses that's how I usually see a conservative being a lard ass but when I think about a liberal, I think about a hipster douchebag that lets attractive females boss them around. So I basically have a radical negative opinion on everybody in this tribe. It's obvious that everybody has their own solution to this issue. Fringe Elements has his own solution. Moldbug has his own solution. Grog has his own solution. And it all becomes derivative of one another. I certainly know that Vaughn has been designing some predictions on what will happen in the near future. All I can assume is that it's not good for one reason and one reason alone. This is intertribal warfare, but on the top is a religion of Marxism. Now, the liberals oftentimes follow around the Marxists because the Marxists give them their tenets, their precious mantras, and both tribes really love mantras. 
I don't know if that's just a natural thing, but while liberals follow Marxists, liberals aren't Marxists, and Marxists aren't liberals. Certainly, Martin Luther King and Barack Obama were not liberal thinkers. They were Marxists. They were... I mean, a lot of people say that Martin Luther King some sort of reverend, but based on his actions, his affairs, his degeneracy, I see that as more of a cover-up. I doubt that he's an actual Christian on principle, and Marxism is specifically, and objectivism, but objectivism is dying, which could be a good thing. These are what I would call profane religions. That is, these are religions that are based upon not being divine. And divinity is hierarchy. It isn't necessarily... Cause what most people think of when they think of hierarchy, they think of stratification, but... I think hierarchy adds another layer to it now, where, and I made the same mistake too, I'm always redefining my own shit. Hierarchy is derivative of the sacred rites, or sacred something, so there's a mode of divinity involved in it. It's sacred. You can't just put someone on the top that isn't sacred and keep everyone locked down to that person, it doesn't count. Well, what is sacred? An easy way to describe it is anything that a Marxist would be against. Because Marxists are insurrectionists. Everything about them is made to cause trouble. And Revolution. That's why I think when I made that blog post about gay marriage and that recent meme with the red Flintstones color equal signs meme that spread, with, I mentioned that hey, this isn't really about improving the gay standard of living or lifestyle or any of these mantras. This is a Marxist way of causing about revolution or the collapse and decline of the West. Another person made a video and I think it's one of the accounts of obvious atheists but that's because of a buzzing in the background and I think the voice definitely reminded me of obvious atheists. I have my suspicions on who he is, but, but let me see what was the name of the video on the account. Manifestium Atheos. Okay, and it was the video was universalist versus academics. That's another way of describing it. There certainly is another layer to this, which is that the liberals hold on to these certain positions, these benevolent desires of equality. And I have friends that are openly against all these dysgenic things that are happening because of our government. And these dysgenic things are, of course, Marxists. Yet they still hold on to liberal tenets. And that's why when I mention all my ideas, they might see it as egotistical. Because it's heavily based upon the divine, basically. And it's hard to explain it because I've only recently gone into these new views. And some people still think I'm 
in the anti-status camp, which I'm not anymore, but that's just another story. I'm not against anti-status. I still do work with various anti-status, including trying to edit someone's book at the moment, but I definitely am part of a different team. I'm not pro nor against state. I'm essentially pro divine. I don't know if there's a word for that yet. I certainly hope it's right wing. But even the old school leftist was much more divine a human being than even the modern right wing thinkers. I certainly know that. A lot of people, well, even me, we're not definitions of masculinity. A knighter isn't a Rini or a, an Aaron Clary, for that matter, or a Matthew Forney. Or, like, and none of these man, no sphere guys, none of these new right guys are half the badassness of the old school leftists because. You, you can see it in her face. And a lot of it is related to the dysgenics of this world making us into pussy niggas. I mean, it's really hard to take the decisions to get out of that dysgenic environment. It really is a harsh environment that makes us look emo as fuck like this. But it's also our decisions, our habits, our growing developments that reflect on this. <clears throat> on the subject, it's clear that in the inter-tribal conflicts of both the liberals and the conservatives, that we're basically, the liberals are the favorite child for the Marxists because liberals directly correspond with the Marxists in the fact that they're not clutching upon the divine. There are liberal Christians, yet while they're not profane enough to fall into that level of disgustingness, uh, same with atheist cults, they're definitely not divine enough to understand that the Marxist is leading them astray to destroy civilization and things like feminism, the race issue, and LGBT issue. They're all just ways of doing that. They're all just a means of an end, uh, taking advantage of certain people's desires and mantras to be fulfilled. I can certainly hope that the masses find some new semblance in the post West and that'll probably be Islam but which is sad Islam's probably gonna take us over or some new idea yep if there is another civilization it does become more successful. It's not going to be successful in a Faustian way. It's not going to try to do the constant innovations we try. But if there's a new civilization that's successful enough to survive on its own and to be prosperous, since I think that's the goal of every civilization, whether they're trying to do an impossible or not, because that's like a good means. Abundance is a good means. That Profanity doesn't kill the divinity there, too. Because in the words of Plato and the hierarchy of forms, how do you explain to people that their view of reality is just a lie? It's really hard. I mean, to show that at the surface level, yeah, religion and God is a lie, but it's a good, benevolent lie that we need. That's 
really confusing 